because it is not a popular course in physics. This is a course which will really go from the very beginning. You go very deep until finally we come into the details of black holes and dark matter. This is physics. We will try to find out how everything is related to everything. And then we have to go back about 300 years in time, in the time of Isaac Newton. Because Isaac Newton did not just come up with an idea, like we see nowadays very often. There are a few scientists, they have a new idea, a new kind of mass, like superstring theory. It's 11 dimensional, nobody knows what it really means, but this is an idea. And physics is not an idea, it's not something you come up with. Physics is really what you have experienced from this world. And Isaac Newton was in a very essential way a monk. He could just look at nature, he could look at the universe, he could look at the galaxies, and he could be inspired by a kind of harmony a kind of beauty and he could feel the laws of physics in nature because at the time of Isaac Newton there was a lot of discussion about what is physics in this world really and they came to the conclusion that the light motif in this physics is something like beauty, harmony, equilibrium, balance symmetry and nowadays you see that back in architecture you see that back in music in literature in paintings everywhere you have the same concept that it has to be in equilibrium and newton saw that and newton was so inspired by this whole idea of equilibrium that he has expressed it in one law this is the third law and in fact, the first law of Newton and the second law of Newton are nothing else but different ways to express the third law. It is all about one law. And that is not the law of Newton. It's the law of nature. It's the law of our reality. It's the law of our existence. And with this law, we will build a different kind of physics with mathematically outcomes, which are really very, very close to theories like general relativity. The outcomes will be close to 15 digits beyond the decimal point. And it is just a matter of what you prefer, but this is a theory which will go in one way, starting at one point. And that is the third law. It's the law of equilibrium, and from that law we will go on further. You will go into the electromagnetic fields electrodynamics, you will go to quantum physics, you will go to general relativity. But we have to keep in mind that it is all about one law. It's all about equilibrium. It's all about harmony. It's about the essence of our reality. If you want to follow this course, do not underestimate. It will be difficult. It will be a difficult course because this is not popular science. This is not well tell you everything in a few minutes. Forget it. This is hard work and you really have to follow it step by step. Because we will go very slow but also very deep. It will be the essence of physics. The background of our world. Because this world is unique, you can touch it, you can feel it, you can hear it. But why? How is it possible that we can feel this world? And what is the difference between this world and a dream world? Or the world where you're in after you die? Or maybe all the other worlds you can travel to? Well, there are different laws. It's, it's really very different than this existence. But in this existence where you live, there are just laws of physics. And you cannot ignore them. You cannot pass them. You have to live in harmony with them. And then you see that the whole universe, this whole reality, is all about harmony. It's all about beauty. It's all about equilibrium. And this equilibrium will be the essence of our physics course 
and you're very welcome to follow it, but you have to be yeah, just around the level of first year's university physics study. So you have to be familiar with mathematical understandings like the curl, the divergence, the gradient, and you have to be able to calculate them. Please, you're very welcome, but I tell you, it is not something entertainment. It is just work. It is working and then you get some understanding. It's a long path, but you're very welcome to join us. If you really want to follow this course, I would recommend buy the book. You go to the website Quantum Light Science and you can also follow it without the book, but it will be much more difficult. The choice is yours. You're welcome. Join us. But it is not an easy journey.